once we humble ourselves and ask, God's mercy is there to help us. Top of the morning to you. When we consider who we are in Christ with the mind of love and a firm determination to get to know God more fully, we're faced with the question, how do we change our lives? For we were like the prodigal son in Luke 15, 32, lost but now found upon our return to the God the Father. Now what? It's like there's a war inside us. We've been saved out of the world's way of doing things. We're now brought into the light, staggering around, shaking our heads, trying to get our bearings. Where is our next step? The good news is we aren't left to our own devices. We've been given the Holy Spirit to help guide us. Galatians 5.16, let the Holy Spirit guide your lives. Though you you won't be, uh, excuse me, then you won't be doing what your sinful nature craves. This sinful nature or the flesh, 1 John 2.16, describes as the lust of the flesh, lust of the eyes, and pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world and must die. Galatians 5.24, those who are Christ have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. Galatians 5.16, walk in the spirit and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Why do we want this? Psalm 51.10, our new desires for God to create in us a pure heart and renew a right spirit within us. God promises in Ezekiel 11.19, I will give them an undivided heart and put a new heart in them. I will remove their heart of stone and give them a new heart. Then Holy Spirit in Romans 5.5 5, is in charge of filling our hearts with God's pure, unconditional love. As we spend time in the secret place with God and us alone, 2 Corinthians 3.17-18 says, We behold the glory of the Lord. We are being transformed into the same image from one degree of glory to another. For Philippians 2.13 says, It's God who is working in us, giving us the the desire and power to do what pleases him. Plus, we have this secret weapon, Colossians 1.27. Christ lives in us. Colossians 1.13. God has delivered us from the power of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of the Son of his love, in whom we have redemption through Jesus' blood, the forgiveness of sins. Thank God we are not left to our own devices once saved. We have plenty of help. It may take some time getting used to squinting our way through the life, but... It's way better than trying to survive in the dark. Words of encouragement. Once saved, the battle for our souls begin in earnest. We are bombarded with lies from the enemy of our soul, Satan. He does not give up easily. But when we rely on the Lord to see us through, he guides us with his Holy Spirit further away from our old lives and deeper into the kingdom, safe in his arms. Have a great day.